two in the afternoon and I just got to Bologna and I got about a 20 minute walk to my house till now. But it looks like I'm walking over some ancient ruins here just right out of the train station. I'm not sure the keys are big enough here. They gave us one big key for the um, main door one key for the bedroom, one key for our locker, um, one key for the front door, and another key for... You can even use this key to purchase things from the vending machine. So I just got done at Vodafone getting my SIM card. I got five gigabytes of data for the month so I can call people and stay online. Uh, and it looks like some streets are closed down. The Vodafone guy actually told me that uh, I've just made it for a uh, techno and house festival that they're hosting this week. As you can see this morning, it's a little bit rainy out. It's supposed to be about a 100% chance of rain all day. Since it's been raining most of the day, I've just been kind of walking around exploring again. And one of the things I've noticed that I really like about this city is the fact that um, there's all the big chain stores on one street and then the next street over, you'll find little artisan shops like shoemakers, uh, framers, um, I've seen hat makers, uh, and they've all got their little artisan shops right next to the, or on the street next to the big shops like H&M and Zara, McDonald's. The guy in the back room is hand making all of these shoes. Made it here to the Piazza del Nettuno with a nice statue of Neptune here at the fountain. Pretty impressive. Well, since it was raining out today, I decided to go to the supermarket and buy some food. Unfortunately, the place I'm staying doesn't have a fridge. All they have is a microwave. So I had to get things that I could either microwave or just eat out of the package. Um, most fruit, I think I, I got some bananas, but most fruit I couldn't get. I'm just about to head into the Basilica di San Petronio, 
where they have a, uh, um, a painting on the wall that's supposed to depict hell as Dante um, wrote about it. called uh, Mortadello. It's what everybody else in the world would call bologna, but it was actually invented here and they call it Mortadello instead. Also, the taste of Mortadello here is a lot better than you would uh, get from Oscar Mayer or something really processed back in the States. It's all handmade and it's really good. Correction, it's actually pronounced Mortadella. Yeah, this is not mine, obviously. We're all, that's, we're all sharing anyway. We all share. Just gotta get them pictures first. Parmesan pie. <laughs> Parmesano. It's so good. Oh my god. I've never seen anybody react like that to a uh, pie before. No. Oh man. <laughs> mm. That's good. You need the cage as well. No. The cage? Do you want the cage? the cage to... See, see, grazie. Well, I like souvenirs. Mi piace? Molto buono. Molto buono. Perfect. Just local. It's better so local. <laughs> There's no much to spend to, to, sell, to, to sell it. So we just got done eating at Cera Una Volta, which I guess means by this guy's assumption, once upon a time. Yeah? Yeah. And it was some of the best food we've ever had. So good. Definitely worth so it. Good. behind us is actually for um, better pay and better working conditions for Italian police here in Bologna. My training advised me to stay away from things like this. So we just got some uh, cappuccino and some, uh, I don't know what those sandwiches are called again. I can put it. I have no idea what they're called. Forgot it in like 10 seconds. <laughs> but we're on our way to a museum, yeah? To a museum? Where we what museum? Uh, International Music 
museum and library thing. Okay, we're going to an international museum uh, somewhere. We are totally in the Disney store right now playing with uh, Star Wars and Toy Story toys. <laughs> I'm not sure if they can tell we're Americans. We're listening to country music while walking through town. <laughs> Getting up there. So we made it to the top of the Leaning Towers of Bologna. Um, 500 and something steps in all, I think. Look at the view. How do you guys feel about being up here? So good. <laughs> so good. Can we go out? I want to take a nap. Hi. How are you? This is the worst part of the entire thing. Oh wow. I'm going to spray my. This is quite steep. Yeah. It's just like a. It's just like a, uh, a snare, ladder well on a ship. That was the worst part of the entire. You should be used to this by now. Now I'm not 500 feet up <laughs> in a ship, and this ship floats. Is it a, a like right. pendulum? Yeah. Hopefully you can do pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I can like suspend myself. Some amazing gelato. So after going back to the hostel and taking a nap for a little while, we're heading to uh, Trattoria Oberdan for some supper. one-time tap. Cork's the way to go. Come back with me. Yeah. 
like, so much good food in one place. I want to stay in this country. Well, he's going to leave his own commentary in there, though. <laughs> is that why you were trying to ask? No, I think you should try something. It's really good. It is really good. This is a mutual thing. So we just met an incredible woman in the restaurant that offered to uh, pay for our entire meal. And at first, of course, we refused, but she insisted, and she was one of the nicest women I think we've ever seen. Yeah, you agree? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, uh, Gail, if you're out there watching ever, um, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This guy has been here for a few hours, I think. Actually, more than a few. He's been here almost all day. So we're trying to get to what museum? The anatomical theater. The anatomical theater, uh, where they do like surgeries and stuff, where they used to, I guess. And uh, of course, we let Corey try to get us there again, and he got us lost. <laughs> My diet starts tomorrow. Italian street food. Why won't you focus, camera? So cheap and delicious. Oh god. It's so simple and so good. It's like a rat, but not disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so after some uh, good little sandwiches, or I don't even know what to call what were those called? Piedine. Huh? Piedine. After some good piedines uh, and a 20 or 30 minute walk to the train station, um, I'm gonna see these guys off to Sicily. Where it's a thousand degrees according to Corey. Every day. Every day. Every day. So the train doesn't leave for another uh, two hours or so, so we came to, uh, I don't know what the place is called, but we came to Cafe Macchiato's before they head out. Take it easy, boys.